We are MDT. We design, test, and create precision rifle chassis and accessories to help you shoot better. Hey, uh, my name is John Pinch. I'm a competitive rifle shooter, a uh, big time hunter. I started competitive shooting because of hunting. Um, live in Oregon with a, a wife and two kids, and I've had a, a pretty fun run and lots more to come. One evening and Ben was like, my buddy was like, what's your, what's your dream hunt? Or what would, what's a, what would be a cool hunt you want to go on? Cause he was big into elk. And I was like, man, I doll sheep. And he's like, he's like doll sheep. He's like, what are you talking about? And I was like, doll sheep, like Alaska doll sheep. It looked like cool. You're an Alpine country. It was backpacking. It looked hard and the sheep were cool. They lived in cool places. And so for whatever reason, I always thought doll sheep would be fun. Flash forward a handful of years, um, I was working one spring day, my buddy Ben calls me and he's like, hey, I booked a doll sheep hunt in the Northwest Territories. And I was like, my mind was like blown. He's like, no way. I was like, could I go with you and just take pictures and see it? And he's like, I bought you a tag. And my, I just, I was like, I couldn't even say anything. I was like, cause at that point, very far out of my price range, my buddy is already doing very well in his career and was like, hey, if I'm going, he goes, he goes, I want you there. And he goes, you may as well hunt if you're there. I'm like, yeah, but may as well is a lot of money. Like I could go and hang out. He's like, it's done. I was like, so that was in 2015. Um, I found out in 14, hunt was in 15. And I, I can't remember ever being so excited for a hunt. Got up there, still one of my favorite places I've ever been. Um, the amount of game, wolves, we saw wolves. Wolverines, caribou, moose. It just, it felt like how the West was when I read old books about, you know, anim undisturbed animals running all over. It felt like that. We started hunting like crazy. And you kill a doll sheep, you're like, well, what's stone sheep hunt like? Well, we did that. And what's desert sheep hunt like? You know, it just snowballs. Caribou, moose, just like anything else does, I guess. Starting to get through these species and realize we're like, hey, we're like at 16, 17, 18 of the 29 of going through these these pretty cool hunts and so ben the, the guy I grew up with he kind of got pretty keyed we just started talking about it and started getting pretty keyed up on it and he's like hey we could do this and uh long story short we're, we're just about there we just got back from a muskox hunt which was number 28 for ben of the 29 he's a rocky mountain bighorn still and that was 25 for me so I'm, I've, I've got four more because of ben been able to do you know, for me, like stretching for a BC Go hunt would be very top of my budget. And now I've been able to do multiple sheep hunts and and chase the 29 and do things. I can't even put it into words. It just blows my mind. Uh, the opportunities I've been able to have because of that. I'm like forever grateful and thankful for the opportunity just to see things that I wish I could take everybody to see. And it's just. I feel pretty thankful. Pretty this year we did a bunch of video. I'm, I just I want to take video just to show people. I don't want to like pretend I'm cool or whatever for going on this cool hunt or I'm tough. Like some TV shows I watch, like oh this guy's so tough for hiking. And yeah, there's hard hikes, but I just hope some of the scenery and the experience comes through. I'm super excited to show some of those videos later on too. I got into competitive shooting because of hunting i would never have got into it if it wasn't for hunting started re getting into long range a little bit i met some different guys doing it over in idaho just got absolutely hooked i had an old 243 this ruger i started trying to free float the barrel and started learning how to reload just reading reloading manuals and had a little rock chucker in the closet at our old house finally got a custom barrel on a gun i was like oh my gosh Started shooting at 600 yards and 700 yards, just in clear cuts up the road, shooting rocks. I found out about a, there was a kind of this small, this hunter match uh, in the Eastern Washington, and they would have these big full size plywood cutouts of deer and elk, and then they would just cut out the vitals and put a steel plate in there. 
So if you miss one side or the other, you couldn't see because you went through plywood. <laughs> and so we, I didn't know any better. Took a giant 338 over to it, shooting 300 grain bullets. Mostly was prone, so it was all right. And spot most of my shots and I, and I got, I won my first one and I was like, oh my gosh, it's the good. I got those competitive juices flowing. Found out about the PRS, which was like the preeminent, like that's that was the big leagues. I didn't know anything. I showed up and I was, I instantly addicted. Dove right into it pretty heavy. That was at the end of, or beginning of 15. I won the NRL championship. I don't remember what year. I guess the flag's up there. 18, 2018. <laughs> I won that. Um, that was a lot of fun. You know, started shooting for MBT in 2019. Won the first NRL match before Hunter started, which was a big match. Morgan King, a bunch of good Jake, all the big guys were there. And then I went over to Frontline and won the first PRS match. So that was a pretty fun way to start. First two matches with MDT, got first place in both leagues. So that was exciting. And then it's been a lot of fun. It's been fun working with MBT and watching products just really um, accelerating the development from the hunting side, a lot of stuff on the hunting side, which I'm excited about, obviously. And, and then the comp going from the ACC to the elite, the break, just so many different things. It's been really fun to watch. I've had a bunch of wins I've in somewhere in the mid, in the twenties of first place wins. I don't know exactly. I don't keep track like some of the guys do. <laughs> and um, a lot of top fives and it just had a really, a fun, a fun career shooting. I've been, been uh, lucky enough to be pretty consistent over the years.